Hi guys, Neil at Italia Autos here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, behind me we have a GTV V6 which has spent 12 years sitting on somebody's concrete driveway. It's came in to me to have a check over with looking to get all the work done to it. I have given it a once over already. Uh, it does need a fair amount of work doing to it. So I thought you would like a video on it, um, seeing how it's held up. So this has been owned by the same customer for well over 12 years now. It has been sitting sort of since 2009. Unfortunately, life got in the way. Customer had a few issues, so the car got neglected. But he's back on the case now. He wants to get it back on the road. So I'm going to give it a good going over now and um, see how much needs doing to it. The engine itself needs a good going over. It's going to want spark plugs, some rocker cover gaskets, cam belt, water pump and a thorough service. Uh, we've also got a, uh, a very big hole in the intake pipe. Um, so yeah, uh, it's going to need a good going over the engineers. It's going to want coolant, probably brake fluid, the whole uh, sort of shebang. The customer has given me the go ahead for the welding, which you're about to see. Uh, cam belt service to sort of get it semi road worthy it also needs um, brakes and discs all the way around so let's get it up in the air and um, we'll show you these uh, areas that need some rust treatment now the customer has kindly stripped most of the car down for me we've got no side skirts on it no arch liners the front bumper has been removed so um, it has it is going to make my life a lot easier when finding this rust out so let's start under the uh, the front wheel arches now i don't expect these to be very bad at all just purely for the fact it's been sitting in a nice area but that has been treated there's no signs of rust we've got um, reconditioned top mounts new suspension and springs so he has done some work on it uh, GTA 17 inch tele dials no rust to speak of there along the top of the arch is where the side skirt goes there's no visible signs of rust until you come round to the back here where that just needs um, treating all the way around Inside the rear arches are not too bad. Now on to the other side. A few little crusty spots up behind there which you're going to want treating and all up inside the arch. And a big hole down there if you can see that there. So that is going to want welding. Back of the sill starting to rot there but you'd expect that has been as it's rotten behind. Common area down there, which looks to be okay. All been well treated. No issues there. The brake pipe looks really well. I think the car's only done 67,000 miles. Um, but the low mileage is helped by the fact it's not moved anywhere in 12 years. Radiator. Is looking very much past its best. You can see all the, the fins are starting to break away down there and at the bottom. So that's going to leak before long. We'll struggle to cool the car, one of the two. A little bit of rust behind here, but that's nothing to worry about. So on the face of it, it looks okay, but you know, I've, I've had a look already, so it does need uh, a little bit more work underneath. So let's get it up in the air. Right, from the back, you know, all these uh, suspension bushes are gonna be shot. Um, that one is absolutely shot there as well. You can tell the way the bar's bending a bit. Um, spring pan bushes shot on this side as well and all the bushes there are cream crackered um, right the rear jacking point is in a bad way that needs some uh, TLC quite badly and all the way up to the top there holes wise along the sill it doesn't appear to be too bad yes it's crusty and rusty but hopefully uh, it won't turn into holes all the way along this side. I think we've got a bit of a hole there, or is that a drainage hole? I think that's a drainage hole there. Uh, floor pan, not bad actually. A few little bits of uh, treatment wanted there. And this is from the other side of the passenger rear. As you see, it's quite bad. It's gonna need uh, a fair old bit of reconstruction. The sill on this side, Again, he's crusty and rusty, but we do have a hole there to sort out. And we've got a hole coming here, I think, or it's not far off from being a hole. And then to the front again, that's okay. Now look at the outer seals from underneath. Rust coming through there. 
a big hole there. It's going to want probably welding all the way along there. That will want treating and then sealing on the inside to make that better. And the other side. Yeah, more welding along here as well and plenty of rust treatment. Not going to bother going over the bodywork or the interior because it's been sitting for ages so it is all, all dirty and manky. But I have had the go ahead to get the cam belt done, the brakes, uh, suspension bushes and the welding. So I've got plenty of work to be cracking on with here. And it seems at the minute I've got nothing but buzzo cam belt changes to do. I've got like five booked in over the next uh, week and a half. So um, might struggle to film some uh, interesting videos through that. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight on what to look out for rust-wise on GTVs, especially if you're looking at buying a car which has been standing for any amount of time. They're pretty much most of the main areas that are rust. So that's it for now. I will probably do a video on this one once it's finished to show you the difference. I'm not going to film anything in between because it's all similar to stuff I've done already. So uh, thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and I shall see you in the next video.